Hello everyone, how's it going? I wanted to make a video today to sort of recap my year um, on YouTube because it's been my first year like actually making content um, and even though my channel is actually seven years old I've actually really only just this year started taking it more seriously and trying to do more stuff with my channel um, and it's actually gone through like an interesting phase so basically i started off I, w I wanted to do live streams and i wanted to you know become um like a youtube live streamer because so twitch i want like i wanted to live stream on twitch as well but twitch didn't allow for multi-streaming and i thought youtube has everything in one platform it's like you know you can make your videos get people to subscribe get those subscribers to then watch your live stream whereas with if I streamed on Twitch, I'd have to put videos on YouTube and try to direct everyone over onto Twitch. And I just felt like it wasn't, I didn't really fancy doing that at the time. So I thought the big brain move would be just have everyone on one platform. And that's why I started streaming on YouTube. And you can actually see here my videos I started. I'm just going to move my camera aside. The videos I started, so I did do a few, I did a live stream um, in 2022 to talk about my Free Peaks Challenge, which is on YouTube if you want to search for it. And then I started making, in 2023, started from the 10th of January, I started making uh, live streams. And you can see here, challenge, I stopped streaming when my channel reaches a thousand. I thought that was like a great idea. So basically I was getting ideas from Ludwig, who's uh, a really well-known um, streamer and content creator on the platform. And I thought, you know, he does like, um, he does challenges where like the stream ends when I reach this, or if I do this, then this happens kind of thing. So I was like really hyped up on that. I got a lot of inspiration from him. Uh, so I thought I would just carry on like doing a live stream until I reach a thousand subscribers. And this is when I had like probably about 50 subscribers. And so, yeah, I was just like, this would be a great idea because, you know, people will want to watch it and re see me reach a thousand subscribers. Um, and it would probably be like a, a quick way to get a thousand subs. It wasn't, it was terrible. Uh, so basically, YouTube cut the stream off after 12 hours, I think it is. Um, as you can see, yeah, 11 hours, 54 seconds. So actually, I was trying to stream on my iPad at the time because I didn't have all of this streaming equipment. So I was trying to use my iPad so I could, like, you know, be mobile and take it with me. And I streamed for, like, almost 12 hours, and YouTube cuts off the live stream, basically just ends it. I, don't know why um, my iPad was plugged in. Maybe it's just a thing that they do. They don't have uh, live streams going for longer than twelve hours or something. I think I heard Ludwig say mention something about that, and that needs to be an improvement. So it was kind of dead in the water. It's like, well, I can't do this live stream until unless um, because of YouTube cutting it off. So. I decided to change it up and I did streaming daily until my channel reaches a thousand subscribers. Um, so I was literally just streaming, streaming. Um, I did like AMA live streams. Um, my For You page reveals my secrets. So I was like live streaming, um, like watching Twitch, uh, TikTok videos rather than posting the videos out as just normal vid regular videos. I was trying to do them as live streams because I thought it'd bring more people into the live streams. Um, like, yeah, I've got You Laugh, You Lose Challenge, reacting to best new game trailers. Um, and as you can see by the views, it didn't actually pull anyone in. It was just dead in the water. Uh, there was a few, like setting up the Secret Lab Magnus Pro Desk, that actually hit like um, a handful of viewers. And I think a lot of people watched this one. Yeah, watched this one after the live stream had ended. And yeah, so that's really cool. 
So I was getting to a point, it was like halfway through the year. I was, I think I was like under um, 500 subscribers. And I was kind of like, I'm not going to reach a thousand subscribers. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Um, and I started focusing more on making video content rather than live streams. As obviously, I still live stream. I've been doing it um, every weekday for the past, like, throughout this year. I've been doing it, like, pretty much every weekday. Um, there's obviously some days I miss because of illnesses, mental health, um, or work stuff. So yeah, I was like basically making videos and trying to think of like ideas of what to do. I was like making you laugh, you lose, reacting to like TikToks, um, compilations and stuff like that. And then I was like, what else can I do? Like, oh yeah, and game trailers as well. I really like reacting to game trailers. Um, and it wasn't until I Ludwig actually made a video reacting to Skibbity Toilet. He did like the marathon of Skibbity Toilet, and I was like, oh my god, this reminds me of my sort of teenage years as a millennial watching these video, like meme videos, um, as flash videos and stuff, and they were really fun. And this looked exactly like that. So I decided I will also react to Skibbity Toilet videos, and I've now become like part of the Skibbity Toilet community, which has actually just been like heartwarming and it's been the best thing that's happened this year. Basically, I mean, I go into um, Discord servers of other uh, content creators like Moby, Elite Cameraman, uh, Valance, Dom Studios, and people actually like, they notice who I am and they're like, oh, you're Michael Brooks. Your videos are amazing. And they're like, you're you're really underrated and i had someone the other day say i'm an epic youtuber and i was just like oh my god this just warms my heart it's just like such a great feeling and obviously now i'm way over the 1000 subscriber mark which is amazing so thank you to everyone for subscribing um and i hope next year we can you know reach further goals i'm hoping for 5,000, maybe 10,000 next year. Maybe we'll see what happens. But yeah, there's definitely a lot more planned throughout next year. So yeah, this year is it's been a great, great year for me. There's been lots of struggles. I've, you know, sometimes I've felt like giving up. But now that I'm at, like a part of a community, people know who I am and they're kind of recommending me to people. That's like, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. And it's just like, it pushes me, it makes me want to do more. Like it pushes me to make more content for you guys. Because I've actually, I've ha also had people like, when are you going to do a reaction? When's your next reaction? It's kind of like, well, we'll react to the next Ghibli Toilet video. Um, I've actually got more, there's another creator who does Ghibli Toilet content who Valance recommended. I will be reacting to more of his content. I might start doing more frequent reactions to No Skill Clutch um, rather than just doing the seasons um, because, you know, it's, it's more content um, and I kind of need to reach certain milestones and I need to entertain you guys uh, because you guys are loving it. And I also want to show you my sort of earn page. So what's crazy is like most um, YouTube this year, they dropped the requirements to reach partnership. It is now 500 subscribers and either 3,000 watch hours or 3 million shorts views. Um, I've got like more than double, like more than triple, almost quadruple the amount of subscribers, but my watch hours is still very behind. And it's crazy because people are like, that shouldn't happen. Uh, once you kind of reach the 1,000 subscriber mark, you should be pretty much golden to get the 4,000 watch hours. So I think, I'm not sure if it's like short attention spans or because of my live streams. I will be making another YouTube video uh, talking about live streaming on YouTube because I think it's a big, um, it's a big thing. And there are some setbacks to streaming on YouTube. 
which I want to go into in another video. So subscribe uh, for that one. Um, yeah, so basically, I've got like 670 more watch hours to go until I reach the 3000 mark, and then obviously 1670 to get to the like advertisement stuff. Um, so it's been like, it's been really hard. Uh, I was, I'm kind of hoping we can make it this month. I know we're just over the halfway mark for this month, and um, I need to like basically more than double the watch hours I've had begin from the beginning of this month. So if you can, please, after watching this video, go watch more videos on my channel. That would be so helpful. The more we, the more we get you to watch, the more I can like you know become a partner and stuff and. Uh, do this more often i want to do way more videos i want to be more um focus more on quality less on quantity because at the minute i'm just like focusing so much on quantity just to get like you guys to watch my videos and like which i really appreciate i really like appreciate the fact you guys enjoy it and you want to watch more i'm kind of like but at the same time it would be great to be able to slow down and do better quality videos um, with editing. Like if I can get enough money from my channel, I'd absolutely love to pay an editor to spice up my videos because at a minute, I think it's it's okay. It's kind of boring. I I um, edit my videos myself. I use CapCut just to add in like like and subscribe at the at the beginning and do some cuts like I will get pull in a live stream and just get the cut to do the AI editing. It's like it's really cool because it turns like two hours worth of content into half an hour, and then I can just like um, I can sort of make it polish it, add that bit of polish on there, and then upload. But it would be also great to have a proper editor to go through all of that. Um, so that's kind of my goals and stuff for next year. Obviously, by the end of this year, I really, really want to reach partner. But if it doesn't happen this year, I know 100% it's going to happen in January next year. So that would be my like main goal is to reach partnership and get to the advertising goal as well. And then, obviously, subscriber goal. 10,000 subscribers is currently my goal. I know people have said like you should go for five thousand first before ten thousand, but I just want to reach for the stars. If I don't make it, I don't make it. It's absolutely fine, but it kind of pushes me to go that much more and you know like do more basically. So yeah, ten thousand subscribers will be the goal. Um, it'd be absolutely amazing if I could make that. So if anyone likes, comments, subscribes, uh, shares to anyone. Like going to communities, share videos and stuff like that. I would 100% appreciate any help any of you guys can give. Um, I also obviously appreciate you guys for just spending time and watching my videos. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's kind of like what I wanted to go through in my year recap. It's been one hell of a year. Also, I've started multi streaming to Twitch now that they allow for multi streaming. So if you want to subscribe to me uh, or follow me on there, link will be down in the description. I would 100% like appreciate all you guys coming over to Twitch. Uh, we are trying to reach um, three average viewers, and we're almost there. We are almost there for me to reach affiliate on Twitch, and then uh, you know I can make like money from there as well, which would be cool because. Then I do more live streams and I can do more stuff and make greater content, um, which is what I really want to do for you guys. I want to be a fantastic entertainer for you guys, and I want to start doing like events. I'm really inspired by Ludwig. Ludwig is just such a huge inspiration to me. Really, events he does, the challenges, um, speaking to other people, and everything like it's just insane what he does. So I want to be kind of like the British version of him, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget, Twitch and Discord link are in the description down below. Please also like and subscribe and comment your thoughts. Um, let me know 
like if you've got any goals for next year uh how your year's been i'd love to you know love to hear from you um so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys have a good weekend and a, a good rest of the year and i hope you have a good new year as well if um you don't see me obviously i'm going to make more videos but if you don't watch any more after this one i hope you have a good new year um so yeah remember you guys are my heroes and i will see you in the next one goodbye